Right, we're looking for a park now. But I think, what are these? I think the park and the lakes and everything is going to be frozen and covered in snow. But if we can find it, it would actually be quite cool to see uh, to see all the lakes and everything. Anyway, there's loads of statues around, really interesting statues. I don't know what they all mean, I really should research it and actually put it in the description, but it's just, the, the names are so complicated and long. It's not like I can just easily Google it. But yeah, interesting little statues there. I think the lakes are somewhere in this direction, but I'm not sure, I need to find Google navigation. It's so different in the daytime compared to the nighttime because at nighttime it just feels like there's nobody here, but at least it's now. You know, there's a few people walking around. So your thing is this way. I had to stop to get some thermal trousers on because my, uh, my legs were freezing. We found the lake and it is completely frozen, except this little patch here where we can see all these geese or swans. They're all waiting in this one last patch of water that hasn't frozen. Walk across the lake. Okay, I'm gonna go and try and walk across the lake. Now it's interesting because at any point, I mean, the ice could crack, you never know. But this entire, this entire surface you see here is actually a lake that's just been frozen. So, you can see in some parts of it, you can actually see the ice still. <laughs> hmm? This gentleman here is in shorts. I don't know how he's doing that. You can actually see the ice, just there. I mean, it must be fairly thick, otherwise no one would be walking on it, but I'm still quite worried. They're playing, they're playing football on the lake. Oh. Don't you talk as close as you can to the edge. No. I mean, it's not unheard of that you just like, you just fall in, but. I jump up and down? No. It's actually the law here in Iceland that you have to learn how to swim at primary school. And that's because they think that if you, uh, if you walk out onto a lake like this or something, you know, you need to know how to swim so you can save yourself if you ever need to. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good, clever idea. I'm actually quite nervous about walking on this because look, you can see, you can see the water. See, like the ice right there, just under the snow. I've no idea how thick this lake is, but all the time we're just walking on it, I feel like it could fall at any moment. You can see in the distance there, there's a bridge across the lake. I just jumped as hard as I could on the ice, but I didn't break. Locals playing football here. Somebody over there's fallen over. I'm gonna try and go to the bridge and see what's that, what that's like. You can get an idea here of the actual thickness of the ice. I don't know if you can see the depth there, but it's about a foot or so. I think it's definitely thick enough to support people walking on it. Otherwise, well, otherwise nobody would be, would be walking on it, would they? 
but still it's a bit scary walking out on a frozen lake like this I wonder when they know oh is that a crack or is that just uh, something that's been trailing behind someone we'll never know yeah it's a crack Wow, that's actually a crack in the ice, going all the way over there, and then here, and then the crack goes up that way, onto the lake, wow. Yeah, I probably want to stay away from the crack. The crack lifted on. Yeah. Those houses must be so expensive on the edge there. Okay, I'm gonna try and walk around there and then onto the bridge. And I might walk under the bridge if I'm feeling brave. Oh, I'm gonna stay on the main pavement here. Because I know this is solid. It's not gonna fall away. Some people have tried to walk right up to here on the ice. I don't wanna risk that though, because that could fall. I mean, you can see there, it's already actually cracked a bit when someone's throwing a rock or something. I can't believe those people are just playing football in their shorts and essentially t-shirts. That's insane to me. And trainers, they're not even wearing boots, just like standard Nike trainers on the ice. And snow. Yeah, I know. It's madness. Got yeah. So the plan is get a 4x4, come back in summer with a, with a drone, do some hiking and some droning. I think we should walk through this little forest area, get some pictures. Look how deep my shoes are. Wow. I think we're almost ready to conclude our lake tour. Wow, it's how deep this one is. This is how deep the snow is here. Take your foot up. Wow, so like, not a foot, but almost a foot of depth. It's pretty deep. I found a walkable path here, leading into the forest. So I guess, I guess we will explore this and see where we go. Looks like something out of Narnia. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna carry on through the path.